Okay. Welcome to the Dow Daily for Wednesday, May 3rd, 2023. So you can see that the Dow dropped a lot yesterday towards the end of the day or in the afternoon. And it's down a little bit today. You can see what's going on here is it's really oscillating around that downtrend line. So, you know, it was in a pretty much a perfect downtrend line for about two weeks. And then we had the two days that it shot up above it. And then yesterday it dropped back below it. And now it's holding just, just below it. We've got the Federal Reserve coming out. The bond traders on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange are estimating about a 95% or 85% probability that they're going to jack up the interest rates another 25 points. And by the way, if you want more detailed analysis, like specifically how to trade specifically into individual stocks and options, stock options, make sure you get a free trial. There's a seven-day free trial over on Stock Market Trading Channel. You can enroll through the Apple TV system. You can enroll through the Roku TV system. You can enroll through the Kindle Fire TV system. It is a, it's a streaming TV channel, and I go over many, many, many more stocks than I do here on the Dow Daily. So make sure you go sign up for that. It's nine it's nine dollars a month. If uh, at the end of the day you decide that it's it's worthwhile, the vast majority of people do, because I do really give you an education on single stocks, and I'm constantly scanning for opportunities in single stocks and options. So make sure you go over and, and take advantage of that free trial. You can also go to uh, stockmarkettradingchannel.com for more information. Okay, so Apple is up today. Now, tomorrow, on Thursday, after the bell, it's going to report earnings. And so who knows what it's going to do, if it's going to tank and drop below the, the trend line there, or whether it's going to shoot upward. It, we just don't know. So we're waiting to see on that one. Amgen is uh, downtrending and, and dropping hard again today has credit options so the only way to trade this thing is with shares with apple there's got good options so you can trade options on apple and if you are going to trade options i strongly recommend that you get the seven day free trial to stock market trading channel that i just went through mentioned um, american express looks horrible it's downtrending warren buffett owns a lot of american express stock and but it looks horrible boeing is downtrending looks horrible and um, Oh my gosh, Caterpillar, that's what I thought it was. Caterpillar is downtrending, and even though it's up today, it still looks horrible because it's holding to a downtrend. We've got that perfect resistance to the upside on Salesforce, but it's off a little bit today. So this is very much of a sideways market for the moment. It needs to break up above that perfect resistance to be worth investing in. It has poor options, so the only thing you can do is buy shares of it now there's a strategy out there called the dogs of the dow if you go to the dogs of the dow.com where you go and just you know mindlessly buy the the uh five uh, uh, many uh, many dogs little dogs or the 10 um, dogs of the dow and that's in the past on some years it's giving you a superior return but it's a really it's a blind strategy you're not really using much analysis what i'm showing you here is i'm actually showing you which of the dow stocks are either downtrending or uptrending or have just broken the uptrend, down, uh, the downtrend and are trending back up. Like for instance, we're going to get to Merck and like, you know, Merck, right now Merck would be the only stock that I would own if I were in only invest in the 30, the universe of 30 Dow stocks, which is a highly successful strategy. You take a look here at Chevron Corp. Oil is down over on stock market trading channel. I cover the commodity markets, think of oil, silver, gold, and so forth. And I was, and I showed people today how exactly how the market is down in the oil market, and that, that's why Chevron's down. Warren Buffett also owns a lot of Chevron, but you don't want to buy stocks when they're falling. I've, I've already discussed the, the Dow Jones Aggregate Index, the aggregate of all of these prices. The Walt Disney Company is up, so this is an opportunity where it broke above that trend line, an opportunity to either buy uh, shares or options. And I do cover Disney over on uh, the Stock Market Training Channel for specific details on that. So I guess uh, Merck and, and Disney would be the only two stocks that would make it work right now. 
There's also the Dow. The Dow's holding to that downtrend. It looks horrible. Um, Goldman Sachs is has dropped dropped hard yesterday and is and is down yet again today. And Home Depot is in that triangular uh, pattern, and uh, it has fair options. So not the um, not the, not much of a trade there either. Honeywell, not much of a trade here. It's uh, well, it is up trending, right? And it's slightly up today. So you could put together a portfolio of three stocks in the Dow right now. It would be Honeywell, it'd be Merck, and it would be Disney, and and maybe Apple. So that would be a fourth stock, rather than like I said, just you know blindly using the um, the dividend yield, which is the way that the dogs in the Dow and the mini dogs are set up. What I'm showing you is how to set up a technical. Dow portfolio. This one's dropping and holding us down. Trend line looks like garbage. IBM um, and um, 3M. What Intel? Intel is also dropping. It doesn't look very good. Johnson and Johnson is downtrending, and J.P. Morgan is downtrending. Coca-Cola is flat. McDonald's is holding to its uptrend. So this would be the fifth stock that you could add. 3M is uh, dropping below that trend line. It's trending very slowly. I should rewrite that trend line. Merck, look at that nice rise in Merck. Microsoft is holding its gains thus far, and um, Nike is pretty sideways, and Procter and Gamble is pretty sideways. Sideways for the travelers companies too, and um, United Health is pulling back a little bit today, and Visa is pulling back below its trend line today, and Verizon is sideways, and Walgreens don't touch it. Do not buy any shares in Walgreens. It looks horrible. That's an absolutely horrible stock chart. And Walmart is sideways. So I, like I said, there's a handful of stocks. There's about five stocks out there that an investor could put a portfolio together within the Dow stocks, which is, is a good strategy for um, capturing those Dow stocks that are turning from dropping to rising. Enjoy your day, and I'll catch up with you on the next Dow update, Dow Daily.